I was going into Halfords one day and I saw this young lad I worked with. He had a flathead screwdriver in one hand and he had that thing in a box in the other hand, scratching his head with his bonnet up, wondering how to fit it. It's the glowing perfect example of a lad with his first car, wants to mod it, wants to make it sound good, goes and buys an air filter and slaps it on. Everything in a car is controlled by a central computer, the ECU. And the ECU is set up from the factory with um, certain specifications, certain parts, and they're all designed to work perfectly together. His mass airflow sensor got full of crap and the car couldn't run properly because it couldn't get an accurate measurement of the air going in. Let me show you. See, there's the air intake on this car, and underneath here, you should see a filter. So it all goes in through here, through the filter, and down into the engine. But there's your math sensor. All the air has to flow past this sensor, and then this measures the amount of airflow so the ECU can calculate the right mixture for your engine. It's quite complicated stuff. And as you can see, there's dirt everywhere. This just builds up over time, this dust and crap. The original filter can filter this out and it'll turn black. If you have to do an induction kit, then get a proper one that does a cold air feed on it and stuff. And so you're not just getting all that heat soak and crap from the engine bay shoved into your engine. Because dust doesn't burn away, yeah? Dust and earth, soil off the road stays in there. If you're gonna modify anything on your car, you need to remap it. But this is where it gets interesting. What most people don't realize when they're new to all this stuff is there's actually two kinds of remapping. One kind is a flash map. Flash mapping is where the guy just turns up with a laptop or you take your car to him and he just whacks a new running file on the car which tells the car to perform differently, squeezing more power out of it. Like overclocking a computer or something. And then there's the second kind of remap, which is a rolling road remap. A rolling road remap is the most important kind of remap if you're into car modding. Now the difference between a flash map and a rolling road remap can be the difference between night and day, especially if you've got lots of mods. The technician can really tweak different parts of your car based on the different mods you've done, like your air filter, your fuel injectors. And if you're seriously into modding, the best thing to do is to get all your mods done and then take it for a rolling road remap where the technician can take all of that into account when setting up your vehicle and you can really squeeze some power out. There's other ways of making your car faster without even touching the engine. And this is one of my favorite, coilovers. I'm telling you now, that mighty car mods Thing. I remember years ago they did a video where they tested a car with coilovers against a car with premium tyres on it and no coilovers. The, the car with coilovers wiped the floor with the other car. They, they're a great mod and not just for cornering. They improve your braking significantly and your acceleration. That's right, you can accelerate faster and even have a better top speed with coilovers. You're, more, you're lower to the ground, you're more aerodynamic. And when you accelerate, the car doesn't lurch and waste energy, rolling suspension back and forth. So yeah, brilliant. But the key thing that you should remember from this video is if you're modding your car with exhaust pipes and things, have those mods mapped in. It doesn't matter if you're not the fastest car in the world. Like when you, we used to play Gran Turismo and Need for Speed, sometimes racing the slower cars was more fun than racing the faster cars because it's all too serious. You know, so, and I think that's very much true for real life. You can quickly get in trouble in a car that can get to 120 miles an hour in a few seconds. Best of luck on your journey. I'm going to get back to rubbing rust off this piece of crap. <laughs>